Have you ever wondered how your ability to ride a motorcycle changes as you age? You know, like most things in life, there are a lot of variables at play here, so we'll explore two of the primary things that affect your ability to ride a motorcycle safely as you age. Reaction time and experience. You know, there are a few studies that have been conducted that look at the effect of aging on our reaction time. A study published in the Journal of Gerontology in 1991 found that reaction time slowed down significantly with increasing age, which is probably no surprise to anybody. The study participants were divided into three age groups, young adults, middle-aged adults, and older adults, and tested on various reaction time tasks. The results showed that the oldest group had significantly slower reaction times than the other two groups. Another study published by the Journal of Accident Analysis and Prevention in 2000 found that older drivers, ages 70 or above, had slower reaction times than younger drivers, ages 25 to 59, in both visual and auditory stimulus response tasks. So we know that reaction time slows down as we age, but what does this actually mean for us as riders? Well, the exact amount of change can vary depending on a lot of things and the specific task and the population that's being studied. Some studies have found that reaction time can slow down by as much as 100 to 250 milliseconds in older adults compared to younger adults. For this video, let's take that worst case scenario here and we'll use that decreased reaction time of 250 milliseconds and we'll see what that means in real world examples for a motorcyclist. One way to look at it is to determine how far a motorcycle is going at 60 miles per hour in 250 milliseconds. So let's do the math on that. To convert 60 miles per hour to feet per second, you have to use a conversion factor of one mile per hour equals 1.46667 feet per second. So 60 miles per hour times 1.46667 equals 88 feet per second. You'll convert 250 milliseconds by dividing it by a thousand, gives you 0 0.25 seconds. And then we can use this formula, distance equals speed times time. So our distance is equal to 88 feet per second times 0 0.25 seconds. It gives a, a distance of 22 feet. So using that worst case scenario of lost reaction time, an older rider's reaction time at 60 miles per hour equates to 22 feet in a real world scenario added to their stopping distance. Reaction time plays a significant role in the total stopping distance of a motorcycle. Remember, the total stopping distance is the distance the motorcycle travels from the point where the rider first recognizes the need to stop to the point where the motorcycle comes to a complete stop. It's made up of two main components, the perception reaction distance and the braking distance. So before the brakes are ever applied, there are two primary components where age is a hindrance, perception and reaction, each of those requiring reaction time. So both of these components are slower the more we age, taking that we already understood 250 milliseconds is 22 feet of distance on a motorcycle at 60 miles per hour. That means approximately that an older rider is gonna travel 22 feet further to perceive the danger and then another 22 feet in reaction time before they even begin applying the brakes. Remember, these numbers just give us a starting point to have a conversation. Again, we're using the worst case scenario from the studies and we use 250 milliseconds, the slower reaction time of the two. But remember that range ranged from 100 milliseconds to 250 milliseconds in slower reaction time for the oldest segments of the population. So depending on your health, depending on you know how well you started out as a rider, how well you've continued to train, those things are all gonna affect how you would fall from that 100 to 250 millisecond range. But we can all agree that being an older rider carries with it some extra precautions that we need to account for as riders. So if you've watched this video to this point, you might be asking yourself, is it time for me to hang up the helmet? Now, maybe, you know, I've never tried to talk somebody out of giving up a motorcycle because of age or because they no longer feel like they're on top of their game. But there is one advantage that we have as we get older, and this advantage can help offset some of what we've already discovered. 
and that's experience. So even if you're fairly new to motorcycles and you're an older rider on top of that, let's say 55 to 60 years old or above, you bring with you some experience that will help you cope with slower reaction times. You know, younger people often think they're bulletproof, or so they think. You know, as you age, you discover that you're not necessarily bulletproof, and as a result, you live with more caution and purpose. Caution when it comes to riding a motorcycle plays some very important roles. It means wearing protective gear. It means riding within your skill set, within the limits of the road and traffic. It means staying out of high-speed, highly condensed traffic when possible. It means increasing your following distance, and hopefully it means keeping your skills sharp as a rider. So if you want to offset your decline in reaction time as you age, I've got two big pieces of advice for you. Increase your following distance and maintain your skills with practice and training. You know, like many things in life, you have more control over what happens to you than some people would lead you to believe. And even though we can't stop the effects of aging, we can offset the penalty levied against us by increasing our following distance and keeping our skills sharp. Increasing your following distance is huge for all riders, but in particular, older riders. More following distance provides more time and space to evaluate the road up ahead and to react what's happening in the road. It is a huge advantage. If you're young and you're highly skilled as a rider, it's probably easier to maintain your skills as you age with regular practice. But if you're an older rider and lower skilled on a motorcycle, you're gonna to have to work more diligently to increase your skills and then maintain your skills as a rider. You know, those are just the simple facts, but it's by no means impossible to build and maintain your skills as a more senior rider starting out. If you wanna work on keeping your skills sharp or increasing your skills, take a training class. Go back and take the new rider class again. I've taken it three or four times myself. If you can or don't want to take a training class, become a member of MC Rider. As a member, you'll get access to two important tools, the forums where professional riding coaches and experienced riders provide expert advice and motorcycle talk without all the drama that you'll find on social media. And secondly, you'll get the field guide where you can practice exercises that will help you work on your skills and build those skills on any open parking lot. The combination of the forums and the field guide is tough to beat when you're looking for a way to sharpen your skills or to stay on top of your game as you're getting older. And details on becoming a member can be found at mcrider.com. Till next week, guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider, and I'll see you on the road.